Jabir ibn Abdullah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu the companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said as was narrated by Al-Bayhaqi Ja'a rajulun ila Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a man came to the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam faqal and he said ya Rasulallah inna abi yuridu an ya'khudha mali O oh, Messenger of Allah, my father wants to take my money. فَقَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ The Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said, أُدْعُهُ لِيَا أُدْعُهُ لِيَا Call him for me. فَجَاءَهُ So the man came. فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن ابنك يزعم أنك تأخذ ماله Your son, he is accusing you, he is claiming that you take his money فقال, so the man said, imagine this father Imagine this father His son has gone and complained to the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام His told on him and now the father has come la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah imagine this situation and he said in abnaka your son the prophet said alayhi salatu wassalam in abnaka yaz'um annaka ta'khudh malah your son is claiming see the prophet he, he doesn't jump the gun. He doesn't accuse. No, he said, your son is claiming that you take his money. So th the man said, Sell who? Ask him, O Messenger of Allah. هَلْ هُوَ إِلَّا عَمَّاتُهُ أَوْ قَرَابَاتُهُ أَوْ مَا أُنْفِقُهُ عَلَى نَفْسِي وَعِيَالِي Is it money that I take from him? So he said, yes, I do take the money. He said, is it money that I take from him? to distribute among his mom's sisters and his and his aunties and uncles is that what i do or is it money that i spend on myself because he is poor he is a poor man money that he spends on himself and potentially for his wife yani the mother of this as is apparent this boy this man or is it money that I spend on myself? I, I don't have any other money. I'm poor, I would starve otherwise. So at this, Habata Jibreel al Amin alayhi salam. Jibreel alayhi salam descended. Fakala ya Rasulallah. He said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, in the Shaykh, Kadakala fi nafsihi shayan. لم تسمعه أذناه. Indeed, this old man said something inside his heart, يا رسول الله, that his own ears did not hear. Meaning that he didn't say out loud. He's hidden something in his heart. That he, when he mentioned that to you, a messenger of Allah, he hid something in his heart. So the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام turned to the old man and he said. Uh, قلت في نفسك شيئا لم تسمعه أذناك. Did you say something inside that your own ears did not hear? So the man said, لا يزال يزيدنا الله بك بصيرة ويقينا. O Messenger of Allah, still and even now, again and again. Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala continues to show us signs of your prophethood by which our Iman increases. He said, Naam, Kultu. Yes, indeed I said. I said something in my heart that I didn't want anybody to hear. So the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam said, Hati. Meaning, say. So he started to say in verses of poetry. غذوتك مولودا وعلتك يافعا تعل بما أجني عليك وتنهل He said, I nourished you. So imagine this. The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام The son that came to complain and the old man that has been accused comes 
and the companions of the Prophet والسلام, listen to this old, weak, frail man addressing his son, saying, I nourished you when you were born and I provided for you when you were young and I gave you everything. I gave you to drink and then again I gave you to drink. I fed you again and again. If in the night you were ill, you would see me staying up besides you, beside you, next to you, because of your illness. And I would toss and turn out of worry that my son is ill. He said, and my nafs would fear, my, my soul would fear that you would die because of this illness. Despite knowing that death has a prescribed time, al and that nothing can overturn it. That I would feel that because you're ill, instead I would feel that I'm ill because of the worry and the sleepless nights that I would have in worry of you. And it's as though I am the one that's ill and not you. And my eyes like, like, like fountains, they would flow with tears. This was, so he's saying this in front of the Prophet والسلام, that this was the situation. This is how it was. And then when you reached, when you became pubescent, O oh son, and you reached that, you reached where I wanted you to reach. You reached that extreme, that boundary that I wanted you to uh, 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 go over and I wanted you to go past when you reached it and, and I was so hoping that you would reach it when you reached it you made my jaza you made you compensated me for what I did for you by showing me ghilva, showing me roughness, showing me this rough state, shouting at me, screaming at me, accusing me, swearing at me, insulting me, hurting me physically, bullying me, being mean to me, being wretched and repulsive. Ghilva wa fadhadha. This is what you gave me. You gave, you made my jaza, ghilva and fadhadha. Ka'annaka as though as though you were the generous one that was taking care of me when it was actually me who was taking care of you when you were younger. When it was me that was giving you food. When it was your mother and I that were wiping your backside and cleaning you. When you didn't know how to urinate in a toilet, we were the ones that were wrapping nappies around you. We were the ones that were feeding you and it would come out and then we would put it back in. We were the ones that would clean you. And now it's as though you are treating us like you were the one that was al mutafaddi like al kareem like the one that was so generous falaytaka idh lam tar'a haqqa ubuwati kama yaf'alu al jar al mujawir taf'alu oh how i wish how i wish you had upheld the the generosity that I showed you, how I wish that you had upheld your end of my generosity as a father, the haqq that I have over you, the haqq that I have over you, that the right and the, the, the manner in which I deserve that you treat me, how I wish that you upheld it. I wish that you had treated me well. I wish you had 
treated me well. So Jabir said, This companion of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, who was narrating this, Jabir ibn Abdullah, he said, فَبَكَى رَسُولُ اللَّهِ He said, the Messenger of Allah cried, alayhi salatu wasalam. وَأَخَذَ بِتَلْبِيبِ بْنِهِ And he, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, took this son in a very light way. He took uh, the talbib is the scholar said a'la al-qamis the top part of the qamis the shirt so the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam took held the top part of the shirt of this man the son and he's crying alayhi salatu wasalam and he said to this boy this man anta wa maluka li abika he said both you and your wealth belong to your father. Both you, meaning physically, you are obligated to aid your father. And likewise, with your wealth, if your father is poor, you are obligated to provide for your father. So think about the right that your parents have over you. So pull your weight around the house. Wash your own dishes. Wash your clothes. Don't complain. Be grateful. If you are complaining, do it yourself. Or go get your own place. Help your mother and father. Chip in if you can, paying the bills. Your room is a privilege. You don't own it. So don't allow, don't bring something into the house that your parents do not allow. If you want to bring something, ask. Can I have it? Can I bring it? If it's your own house, don't ask anybody. As long as it's halal, don't ask anyone. Get it if it's wise. But you use electricity, you use the gas, you take baths, you use the water. Your clothes are washed and so on. If your parent truly, if your parent is happy with doing these things for you, then so be it. But let me tell you something else. Have mercy upon your parents. Why? Because your parents have a soft spot for you. And your parents more often than not will say, look, it's okay. But you relieve them. You are young, dear sister and dear brother. You are young. Your body is stronger. You, it is a learning curve for you. So appreciate what your parents have done for you. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Man lam yashkur nas, lam yashkur The one or, or a sign of truly thanking Allah is thanking people for the good that they have done. And remember that this house that belongs to your father, it belongs to your father. And it is not, as we said in the beginning, a hotel room. Walhamdulillah, wa salatu wasalamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.